today I'm going to show you how to make a really really delicious ashereshte. This is how you start it. Put the pot here, just add a little bit of grapeseed oil, not too much. We have two chopped medium onions, put it in there and let it slowly fry. We have about 10 cloves of garlic here. We have to peel them and chop them. That's all. The onion is frying. We have added um, the chopped garlic to it and let it fry a little bit more. We already soaked some lentil, chickpeas, and kidney beans, and they're already ready we're just gonna add them to the pot and let them cook together at this point you have to add some boiling water and this is gonna cook for a couple of hours till the beans are completely cooked now that everything is boiling we're gonna add some salt pepper and turmeric salt pepper turmeric and put the lid on let it cook for a couple of hours wait for it till it's boiling then after it's boiling put it on medium low temperature and let it cook for at least an hour and a half the other ingredients that you need for this ashereshte is noodles for ashereshte I have already some frozen vegetable which includes spinach, chives, parsley, cilantro and dried mints and this is called kashk which is the whey sauce and it's really delicious. You can find these ingredients in any Persian store. So everything has been cooking for about an hour and a half just to make sure everything is completely cooked you can take some of the beans and uh, just chop it to see if it's cooked. Yep, yeah, it is cooked. At this point, you can add the fresh, uh, fresh herbs to it. Then mix it up. Then add the mint, not too much, and then stir it well, and then we have to add the noodles, but because we have to cut the noodles in very small pieces, we do that first and we add it to the pot. These are our noodles, now we're going to add them in, a, cut them in a small pieces and then add it to the pot, not too much though. This is all. This is enough. Now we're adding the noodles to the pot and stir it well. And then put the lid on and let it cook for another half an hour. Since our whey sauce is a little bit thick, we have to add just a little bit of hot water to make it smoother. That's it. Not too much hot water. We're going to use half of this added to the pot and mix it well together and then the other half is going to be used as a garnish. For the garnish you need one more onion, it could be a small or a medium onion. Chop it in really thin pieces and then fry it, add some salt, pepper and turmeric to it and we use it for the garnish. Let it brown. Our ash is ready, now this is how you actually plate it. Mix it well together. Add half of the cash to the osh. Mix 
mix it well. And then put it in the plate. can do individual plates or you can make a big plate and put it in the center of the table for everybody. Add the cash on top. We have some fried onions and a little bit of mint. Garnish it with that. And if you like, you can add some saffron on top of it. This is our Osh, which is one of the best foods for winter. It keeps you warm and gives you lots of energy. Bon appetit, Nusha John.